and welcome to Kicker Play Studio Tutorials. Let's continue exploring the World Machine application. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to build a canyon. But when we work on the projects, I want to look a little bit more in details on some specific functions that World Machine provide for us. And right here, we will look on some combiners and how we can create a nice um, canyon on a our terrain okay so right here we have our basic preset I'm going using several advanced Perlin noises and this is first it's overall will be our noise that going over all terrain and we'll come back after and modify if we need it so but as a beginning let's just preset I want something maybe 20 kilometers so something wide expanded. Uh, we'll just go use a basic noise for this. Okay, and just bring slightly corner up. I mean, just have it very basic presets. Okay, let's go ahead and click OK. So this is will be us our general noise creation global, and we can modify, and you'll see how this will affect next actually i want to make canyon maybe just run right here in the middle to do this i'm going to use the layout generator you have two ways you can do you can click and create it or you can just add node in and click to modify before we modify i want to zoom out and find place where um we allocate the actual mark here so to do this so let's draw our canyon. We will use the line for this. And just how you want to see your canyon going. Just so we have some kind of lines. I'm going to create. And after I create, right click anywhere on the screen. So it's kind of move away. Okay, and next, I'm going to select this and bring our properties right here I want to bring this little bit down for our distance so we get a little bit sharper kind of going you know maybe even less so I want to eat um, kind of going eating ground in uh, with the terrain not just uh, creating one you notice how it's sharp done so we can fix this a couple ways one we use the breakout and the second we can take lines and you can see when you click and drag on them to start creating this moving smooth kind of line so we can take vertex and control by that preset kind of how it will go so this is give you some smoothness to us okay as well we need can use break up which is add fractal noise to our nut line okay and right here we can specify how much roughness we want for this break up scale so i'm pop up a little bit more and you can notice it's take a offset for main line so we'll just see if it's fit your needs but i think this is look kind of good okay we'll go to preview okay here's our line sometimes maybe just maybe bring a line a little bit away from this edge. We always can increase and grow size after. We'll see how it will look. Here, right here, we have our overall map. We have our canyon. Right now, it's actually look like a mountain. To make a canyon, um, we will need to inverse. But before we do this, let's combine per noise, our terrain, and our together. And of course, we'll use it for this combiner. Okay, with our combiners right here. We'll select one. And I'm just putting this on top advanced problem because it will be overall kind of a shape, right shape. And we take the layout, connect next. Okay, and now inside the combiner, you'll notice we have kind of add on. It doesn't look the good, so we need to switch this one to um Let's go to add. Okay, and we'll take string put all the way. So right here you can see we have it. We kind of
kind of nice interesting canyon going on so the next what I want to do and I notice we have right here on this canyon it doesn't have any roughness right on the bottom and we can use this canyon and add it to the advanced purlin but I want to keep it purlin independent from this so we can modify in this case we're going to do add this to our another advanced purlin let me go to reset this one and you can see right here we have a nice applying overall and what it else does because we're using both of this it's applying this noise to all um, terrain so in other case I'm moving these transitions right here between canyons and the terrain by applying overall noise filter you'll notice it will start smoothing some of these edges right here those edges they become a little bit more natural this way so let's go ahead and just open noise and again on this one I want because I'm adding detail noise on the sides actually I want to decrease and I copy so a little bit more so you can see I'm going you know like way more on the noise okay let's bring our elevation way up Just overall increase this kind of greenness effect to this. Just slightly more right here. And you know what? Let's put this on smooth ridges so we have kind of more um, going region inside. And again, because we will inverse it, it will be look more as the smooth below so kind of like rocks will place to right here on the sides is what will going on okay I think we click OK now and uh, next we can go and add inverter to this so let's go to filter and in a filter we have an inverter inverter will take a value and just flip them over so right here you can see we start having a kind of canyon and again, one thing what I says, um, let me lock this output. The general overall look right here, we can go inside and you can see we can modify shape over all over our canyon, which is kind of nice this way. Increase the definition. Okay, so we can pop up here and same again and effect and we can play with this a little bit later see what is coming okay let me unlock it okay next now we can almost ready to use it so we go to add to our erosion and with erosion it's kind of interesting because now we can see how this area will affect one thing I like it uh, kind of keep in mind because it is kind of projected from top on the maps you cannot have it overhanging cliffs so you cannot overhang stuff here and also you want when you work with the view if you have a too straight line too much straight line what's happening we will create these artifacts because of triangulations how it's happened and these cases you want maybe make these walls a little bit smaller and all this you can do, you know, um, let me go back here. We'll just take go to erosion, log preview, okay, in a layout. So we'll just open and you can just slightly increase this fallout distance right here. So it will have this little bit edge slightly smaller. Again, you notice I log preview, so when I go to my layout, I can preview from the point where I lock. That's why it's kind of useful to use this log. Okay, and now we can add going inside the erosion and work right here to modify some stuff. 
Okay, so we have a channel. This leave it like this. What I want to do, I want to increase maybe the effect, and I want to enable geological time enhance. This is will provide more effect, more kind of eating effect overall. And you can see we can bring this down. And mostly what I was looking to take a little bit more sharpness away from this edge, kind of more just a distribution inside. Okay, we don't use any filters. We're okay. Rock hardness is good. We can increase, but I think the softer rock actually look a little bit better in this case. Okay, let's click OK. We'll go to preview right here. You can see we have it, our very nice canyon. We can easy modify this sh global shape or these details. Again, right here, this is what details on the edges, kind of merging them together by second parallel noise. So this one is what adding details. And of course, we can lock again, go inside, and right here you can see these details on an edge. Right there, it's what it was kind of modifying with this. And of course, we can bring a little bit more or less to this. Okay, let's go up in here. And we can see overall scale if we want to add as well. Just maybe make it bigger or flatter. Reduce. Remember, these values will be a little bit opposite from before because we're using in inverter right here. So the values up will go down and opposite. So kind of keep this a little bit in mind when you're creating. Um, one more thing we can add, and I want to show you two ways we can do this. One, we can go here. We can go in a step and add terrace. So let me go connect. What it does is add a little bit those steps. You see where we have it? We have all the steps. So we can open. Obviously, we can add more of them. Just make it kind of a little bit softer. Apply to this. Okay, let me go preview this one. Render to this node. Okay, right here we have it kind of a little bit harder. So let me go and select terrace from here. And one thing I can do this because I lock my view. So I recommend to do it before so you can open and modify without jumping to that edge. And um, so I'm just going to see how many tears and again because the resolution may be a little bit too low for this right now is what happens so we'll have it kind of harder to see them but when we increase the resolution final resolution you can preview those terrace a little bit better right here we have it and again this is one way to add terrace one thing I found um, Sometimes you can go inside the VU and add terrace inside the VU by using VU uh, strata filter. And we'll look on this in a second how we can do this. But overall, here's my canyon. Of course, it's a little bit older looking now. I can go ahead and add another one so right here. If, you actually, if I want placed river. But overall, you can see we have it nice. And also ground will placed inside here as well. We're going to go inside and layout. We'll select. And you always can just slightly increase if you want to see a little bit more repositioning. And notice right here, we because we move, now it's all up except the size. So we can just to showing, as example, right here, see so we have it even. So if we bring kind of slightly down, okay, let me put it 
lights so we can kind of see a little bit better. There you go. So we have it, our terrain set. Okay, let's unlock. Next, I am probably setting this as a test to 1000. Again, uh, when you render, you probably want to go higher resolution. Okay, this is, will take a little bit time, and mostly I'm working right now in a standard edition which used only a couple threads, so it's quite a bit not as fast as I want. It still be processed very good. It's take about uh, 15 minutes on my machine to produce this uh, resolution. But for this tutorial, actually, I'm going 2048 plus one pixel. So I'm going that resolution right now. Um, just preset, see if we have it, everything right here, build option, okay. Before I do next, I'm already pre-designed, and you notice I have my pre-built pattern, so I created. This is output set, and I'm just going to set as Canyon 2. Just be sure that names is set properly for me. Also, if you purchase these tutorials, all of these maps and actually more of high resolution maps uh, will be included with tutorial so you don't need it render yours you can just follow tutorials but you also can um, download it, the bonus pack with your tutorials and use it these maps already so you'll save time on the render and you can kind of jump between application to see how it's work okay i'm done now and i'm going to build first and you'll notice how long it will take it mostly when we start getting the erosion it's where the most time will take it right here and it does not do that bad so it's going quite a bit fast okay so right here we completed i put it on pause because i was waiting and as you can see it took about three minutes to build on that resolution which is quite a bit fast actually um and uh, if you want to actually see how it's built you can create your own uh, terrain and just watch the numbers changing so overall here is done next i want to open export terrain properties and you notice right here it's all ready to export let's click export all okay and this time we're kind of done here and uh, next i want to go inside the view and just see how we can use maps there